In this topic, we're going to look at microorganism population growth. So by the end of this topic, you should be able to answer the questions, what is the lag phase, log phase, and exponential growth? And then how can you measure the cell numbers? When discussing microorganism growth in biotechnology, it's important to understand the different phases, which are represented by this graph. So you've got the lag phase, the log or exponential growth phase, the stationary phase, and then the death or logarithmic decline phase. Now the lag phase is where there's no cell division, but the cells are metabolically active. This time will vary according to the conditions and the time needed to synthesize the enzymes required for cell division. During the log phase, the cells are dividing at a constant rate. The generation time or doubling time depends on the conditions and will define this phase. Now, in a closed system, the nutrients or the space become the limiting factors, or toxins accumulate, so the growth rate slows down. In a closed system, the stationary phase occurs because of the limiting factors, so the number of cell divisions is equal to the number of cell deaths. This is when some secondary metabolites, for example, penicillin, are made. The living cells are active. The growth is limited by the nutrients running out or end product inhibition, pH changes, space, and toxic metabolites. And then finally, the last phase is the death or logarithmic decline phase. The number of cell deaths exceeds divisions here, and this only occurs in a closed system. Right, let's have a look at how you can measure the cell numbers. So cell numbers can be measured by the increase in cell mass, for example, dry weight volume after <coughs> centrifuging the cells, total protein or DNA, chemical activity, turbidity or optical density. Cell numbers, so you would use a microscope to count the cells per area, or you can use electronic counting chambers of suspended bacteria. There's also indirect viable counts done by growing colonies and cultures. And that concludes our lesson, the end.